How do you how do you get to be so cool? How do you, how, how's a guy like you get to be so cool? I want to hear. How do you that. get to be so damn cool? I want to hear the like answer. Exactly. Our first guest became a household name as the star of television's Miami Vice, and now he has a brand new series, and we couldn't be more proud because it's right here on the CBS Television Network, entitled Nash Bridges. I think that's the Nash. Isn't that the Nash Bridge right back there? I, I think is that it? Yes, that's it. Can you? Can you? There it is. Oh. Debuts, uh, debuts, debuts tomorrow, right here <laughs> on uh, CBS. Here he is, Mr. Cool himself, Don Johnson. you right off the bat here. How do you get to be so damn cool? <laughs> they have a um, they have a school in Burbank. <laughs> oh, it's Burbank. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the uh, uh, school of cool. Uh huh. Yeah. But you, I mean, you must have known at some point in your life when, hey, I can I can be an actor because I'm already cool. All all I got to do is put on a little makeup. We're in business. That's pretty much how it happened. Yeah. <laughs> it's been 11, 11 years since you were on our show. Eleven damn years. You're serious? Yes. What the hell happened? Where you been? Did you move? What's going on? Best I can figure, it was a scheduling problem. Yeah. <laughs> Just couldn't make it work. Just couldn't fit it in somehow. Let's talk a little bit about Miami Vice. How many years was that show on the air? Five years. Man, that was a big deal, wasn't it? Yeah. That was... <clears throat> Around the world. It was in uh, every country in the, in the planet, wasn't it, more or less? Every, every country in the planet and some planets. <laughs> some other solar yeah. systems. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. Very impressive. They are very good at Universal about uh, syndicating. But I want to tell you, when this show was on, I mean, man, that was, it was happening, wasn't it? That was it. Yeah. That was like the big deal. Yeah. Friday nights, that was the place to be. Friday nights, 10 o'clock. And you know that now... Since we're going to be here on CBS yes. Friday nights at 10 o'clock, yeah. this will be the now, place to oh, be. Oh, thank God. God bless you, Don. <laughs> <laughs> Just get that one out of the way. You so know so let's, let's uh, run down the Friday night lineup here at CBS. You start off with Picket Fences, is that right? And then um, it's followed by a show that's just almost exactly like Picket Fences, but it's not. But you can't tell the difference between that show and Picket Fences. <laughs> so that's the first two hours. And then we come up to 10 o'clock, and it's Nash Bridges. Now, are you, are you Nash Bridges? I am Nash Bridges. Uh -huh. yes. And what, what, what do you do as, as uh, Nash Bridges? Well, what kind of stuff goes on there? He, he's, a, he's a cop, uh, but uh, basically... A cop? You yeah. say he's a cop? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Go figure, huh? <laughs> it's a... It's, um, yeah, he's a cop. He's uh, got a couple of ex-wives, a teenage daughter, and a, an aging parent. It's, it's a little bit of a stretch for me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like chapter two out of the biography, Don. <laughs> uh, now, is, is it true that your friend and our acquaintance, Hunter Thompson, had something to do with the uh, conceiving of this show? Uh, yes, Hunt, Hunter was, um, uh, is a neighbor of mine, you know, and... Mm -hmm. um, and a very, very dear friend, and uh, he was the um, uh, co-progenitor of this uh, of this little baby. Now, what, what does that mean exactly? The co-progenitor. Yeah. Uh, well, that means that Hunter and I were sitting around, you know, kicking it around one night, and uh, we came up with this uh, half half baked, half crazed concept, and yeah. uh, and then you know we put it in the hands of the professionals, and they <laughs> fixed it up for us. You know, <laughs> See, it was half baked, and CBS snapped it right, right. up. They said, sure. <laughs> We they... need some more half-baked shows here. That's what we're looking for. They knew a winner when they saw one. But now t tell me a little bit about your relationship with Hunter Thompson, because he, he was on our old show two or three times, and we could never understand a word he was saying. Uh, you have to know Hunter uh, maybe 15, 20 years before you get his cadence. <laughs> you start to understand yeah. it. Yeah. But it was a lot of this, a lot of this, a lot of this, you know what I'm saying? No, no, I'm the, talking about this. The the fact talking about this. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that was Hunter Thompson. And I, and I was sitting here like a stooge thinking, you 
Well, yeah, sure, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want to look dumb. You now, know? When, uh, Hunter is a brilliant, brilliant guy and one of the few writers in America who has attained a, a, a voice, a singular voice mm -hmm. in literature. Mm -hmm. And um, I, he, he thinks so fast that his, uh, his um, motor skills follow. His, his brain gets ahead of his lips. Mm, or, or vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of my honeymoon. But that's another story. <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> Uh, yeah, Hunter worked with my mom on her cookbook. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> let's take a look at let's take a look at the show. You, sure. We have a little clip here. Yeah. This is the, from the debut show mm. tomorrow night, yeah. ten o'clock. Nash Bridges, Don Johnson, and, and uh, Cheech Marin is in the show. Cheech is in it with me. Yeah, as well? that's great. Here we go. Roll it. Nash Bridges premieres Friday. Watch me now! How are you? How's it going, boys and girls? Don Johnson, Michelle Kwan, and uh, no doubt. You know anything about the figure skating? Uh, not a damn thing. This, uh, this young girl, this is quite a story. She's the world champion. She, in the competition of the world's best, she was judged to be the best. It's an amazing thing. She's 15 years old. That's outstanding. Yeah, huh? yeah, she'll be out here a little yeah. bit later. Would you like to meet her? Yeah. All right, we'll see if we can arrange that. Yeah, I would. Yeah. It's the kind of thing you want to know about, because CBS yeah. has a lot of figure skating here. It's kind of keeping us afloat. You know, we lost... <laughs> Did anybody tell you we lost NFL football before you came over to CBS? You know, I heard that. Yeah. Uh, does she... Uh, can she act, do you think, maybe? Oh, sure, of course she can. Oh, you have to be. They have to have uh, some acting ability as a figure skater to do the interpretation of the, the movements Excellent. and the music. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see a guest spot coming up for yeah. her. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Uh, we, we got some. Uh, we have some more uh, footage. Uh, this is uh, from you in your early days as uh, an actor from a, a film called Ski Lift. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Ski Lift to Death. Ski uh, Lift to Death. Yes, I, think that, it's I yeah. believe, uh, as I recall, that was the title. Yes. Was, was was this like a theatrical movie, or was it like a cable movie? Or? No, it was a it was a movie for uh, CBS. <laughs> oh no, was it really? Yes. Yes, it was oh, a... Oh, uh, my God. It was a CBS... Uh, Ooh, I wish I'd seen the resume before they made that mm. deal. Uh, yeah. And you play a ski instructor, hunky ski instructor. Uh, well, uh, I don't know... Are you hunkier that. or cooler? What do you think? Are you more hunky or are you more cool? I, I'm, I'm going for the hunky slash cool, yeah. a hyphen. Yeah, thing, you can you know? get away with it. I think yeah. you can pull that off. Yeah. yeah, he's hunky and cool, don't you think, Paul? <laughs> Absolutely. <All right. laughs> Very good. Uh, let's see, yeah, this, uh, this little gem was made uh, in the uh, late 70s. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And do you ski? Well, I didn't at the time. Right. I basically lied my ass off to get the job. And uh, so I showed up in Banff, Alberta, Canada. Oh, it's, it's beautiful there, though, isn't it? Gorgeous. It's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. yeah, really beautiful. Do you ever take the Canadian Pacific Railroad uh, train through the uh, Canadian Rockies? Nope, never uh, have. Oh, it's spectacular. Yeah. Absolutely spectacular. I'll do that the next time we do the sequel. Why don't you and I and the, the figure skater take that trip? <laughs> now, there's... By golly. There's... I love there's... it when a plan comes together. <laughs> <laughs> and Hunter Thompson, the four of us. Now, there's, yeah. now there's, there's a, a no more headlines phone calls. just waiting to what happen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All right, so now we're going to show some of this uh, ski uh, lift to, to, to death. Yeah, we're going to see a little uh, bit okay. of it. And keep in mind, when you're watching this, Don did all his own stunt work. <laughs> all right, go ahead and roll it. Here we go. Ski lift to death, Don Johnson. CBS tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Good luck. Godspeed. Nice to see you, Don. Nice Thank you very you. much. We'll see you in San Francisco. All right. Yeah.
Don Johnson. We'll be right back.